Mama is heading on a road trip. It is different though. We have none of this. No, on this my farm. Is Pretty fancy. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. So those are actually not cotton balls that you're buying in the grocery store. Okay, road trip. Mama is heading on a road trip. A solo trip. A solo road trip. <laughs> Do I seem happy? Um, no, I wish the kids and my husband were with me, but it's not going to work out. So I'm heading down east. I'm going to see my friend Sue and her husband Brent and their sons. I, well, I don't know who I'll get to see. I think the boys are probably in school, but um, we're going to visit her farm. I think we're going to get to see some sweet potato harvesting, I hope. And then I'm heading down to the river to check on my camper, clean the yard after the storm, clean my camper, and um, get some work done that I've been then uh, putting off, not being able to find the time to do computer work that I need to do, some writing, something that, uh, anyway, something that's important to me and uh, I've been putting them off. So I'm gonna get work on that and enjoy a beautiful weekend, I hope, and head home refreshed in a couple days and get ready for bean harvest. So. Let's go. We are in the middle of nowhere, y'all. <laughs> We're in Nashville, y'all. Not, not the country music Nashville. The Nashville, North Carolina. That's North Carolina. Oh my gosh, y'all! There's so, this is this is a produce company over here. I don't think that's part of their deal, but this this is part of their their farm. Look at all these all these little those are bulk barns, I believe, for tobacco. And uh, there's so much other stuff though. Hey, I'm, I'm getting a new subscriber, yeah. Manuel. He's, he's, he's finding my channel for him. <laughs> okay, now you can follow along. <laughs> it is payday here, y'all. It is payday. Can you tell? Okay, here we go. I'm not driving for a change, which is nice. <laughs> so That's I can today. so I can video while we're going down the road. This is my friend Sue. We're gonna like actually get to talk to her this time. She was on a few weeks ago, if you remember. She I came. was riding that time. She was riding, was riding, I was driving, and we were talking the whole time. We were just saying I didn't get anything. I didn't really, I didn't get to talk to her on camera, so we're doing that today. So I'm visiting her. I was saying I should have just, uh, I didn't like interview her husband, should have done that, but she and her husband, I Brent, okay, <laughs> and their two sons, Colin and Carter, have what you call it, you said B&S, and then what, Leggett Farms. Leggett Farming Partnership, that's the technical name. Leggett Farming Partnership, and they pretty much farm everything. <laughs> Everything that's, grown around Everything that's grown in eastern North Carolina, they have. Oh, okay. Okay, tell us. This so, is... this is our um, unplanted strawberry field uh, at Strawberry City. Strawberry uh, City, we'll look at that. We'll be planting in the next week or so. Oh. And um, they'll all overwinter, overwinter and we'll uh -huh. be ready to pick next spring. Awesome. Okay, strawberries. So, that's one big thing. Is this your cotton? Yeah, this is our cotton. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we haven't sprayed it yet so that the leaves fall off, but it won't okay. be long and um, should be plenty of cotton in this field. Awesome. All right, cotton. And then we're going to see peanuts, peanuts, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, and tobacco harvest. And tobacco harvest. Okay. I smell dirt, y'all. Looky here. Looky here. Peanuts. So tell them what what are the machine? It's turning them up. It's pulling yeah, them so up. So these out. are peanut diggers or peanut inverters, mm -hmm. and so they'll just dig down. Um, these are just four row diggers, and mm -hmm. so they'll actually kind of windrow the peanuts, and they'll turn two rows kind of into this one 
line here. And oh, okay. so we turn them over and let them dry for a couple of days mm -hmm. and then we'll come back with the um, peanut harvester, the peanut combine, mm -hmm. and they'll pick the peanuts off the vine. Okay. So, how about that? Yeah, so you can still, they're still, um, they're not super dry yet. They still kind of feel hard right. and they're um, hard to crack open. So they'll just sit a couple of days and dry out enough they and then they're done. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it is different though. So they're not like roasted and salted in the shell um, yet. It still tastes good though. Yeah. Thank you. Gus stopped. <laughs> Let us catch up so I can see. All right. Set up That's right, it's set up in this trot there and that one. Okay. On and you t you basically, I mean, you told it where to go. Right, and I'm on the line. I'm one inch off. It's, it's going to vary zero to four inches maybe. Uh-huh. See, so we're about dead on line right now. So. Oh, my gosh. I've, I've always heard about this, but I've really? never been able to. I've never been in one. This no. Is, this is fun farming. Yeah, this is fun farming. This is, you don't have to. See, I could totally YouTube my husband. I can't wait to show my husband this. This is what we need. Oh. He's always yelling at me about being on the phone and not being able, <laughs> not being able to do what I need to do in the tractor. So this would make it so easy. Easy does matter. I just asked him what his favorite thing was to do, and he said peanuts. Absolutely. What? But you help with everything. You help. With I have this year. I've helped Brent with everything this year. The vodka. Okay. I've made these peanuts. Oh. These that's, are your, that's these are your babies. babies. So, so, this, <laughs> so this beds it too without without steer, really? little steer at all. Oh my gosh. He offered to let me drive, but I said I, I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here in a second. We're gonna find gonna something else. Soon. Oh you don't have to do that. I feel like I'm gonna lose my run. <laughs> it is really cool, y'all. I mean it he's he even like went went past it and it corrected itself and went back where it was supposed to be, where he said it to be. Pretty fancy. So right here you see the peanuts are attached to the vine by like a little stem. Yeah. Those are called the pegs. Oh, okay. I didn't um, know that. Because it was so dry, some of the pegs are kind of weak. Um, okay. So Sam. we're losing some. Some of the ones that have come off, yeah. when they're being turned over, those mm -hmm. will just be lost because right. when the combine comes through, it only gets what's on the... That's right. It makes the plant up huh. and feeds it through there and like, spits out the... Do y'all do any irrigating? When we can. Um, 
we didn't have any farms that were irrigated this year. Okay. Um, but sometimes we do. Yeah. Okay. Next stop is a tobacco field. Tobacco harvest. This is, well, this right here, this is the end. That still got ways to go. Or are they picking the whole stalk? They're, they're gonna, um, yeah, they're gonna get all this. They're gonna get all this. All this. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen a, what do you call it? So this harvester is called a tobacco stripper because it strips all the leaves off that are left. Okay, and right. So we've already harvested this a couple times. So it's just the upper stalk tobacco that's left. What's well, really mature. All right, that's what I've never seen. I've only seen it um, picked by hand. Right, and we do that. We right, you do that, that too. Hand, but just okay. kind of this last finishing it up. Finishing it up. A sweet potato bus. <laughs> okay, final stop. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. This is sweet potato harvest. So this is all done by hand. Sweet potatoes all by hand. So turn them all, turn them over with the tractor, and then they come up. Okay, turn them over with the tractor, and they come up and dig them up. Dig them up by hand. Good gracious. Talk about labor intensive. One bucket at a time. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sue's going to work. She brought me some gloves. I could help. <laughs> this is for checking behind all the guys. It's for what? Checking behind everybody. Oh, okay. Uh, making sure they hadn't left too many potatoes. Oh. Oops. I use the small ones. We use for seed. <laughs> okay. And we're in the certified seed program so we can sell them for certified seed. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the big ones so, that you would see in the grocery store, we sell those to grocery stores. Right. And these kind of, a lot of other growers just leave them behind. Yeah. But we're able to sell them for seed. Awesome. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so like, <laughs> Get every little bit, everything you can out of the crop, right? That's right. Here comes bus. Dude, oh, okay. Moving. Okay. There's a bus. There's a bus coming. And then. And then the seed size, we'll put those in their own bin. So we've got them labeled right there. Okay, I was asking her if they go somewhere else to get graded, but she said they all get they all get sized here and put in here. bins right. here. Mostly. Okay. Yeah. And then like at the packing house, based on their orders, like if they have orders for like a 40 count or 50 count or whatever kind of box, then they will size them again there as when they wash them. Oh, and okay. They've got like a digital size and all that fancy stuff. Oh, there. okay. Yeah. Fancy stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. North Carolina is what? Number one? Number one. We're number one in the United, United States. States for sweet potato production. And Brent was saying, I'll show when we go back, those warehouses right next to y'all. Yeah, the Nash Produce. Nash yeah. Produce is like, yeah, I can't remember how many houses yeah. in the country. Yes. Yeah. Like, this is sweet potato. We're in sweet, sweet potato, potato bill. Sweet potato land. Yeah. Okay. This is cool. Um, and then he'll leave the smaller ones behind and he'll come back the next time and get those smaller ones up and those those will be separated by size okay so they're put they're trying to they're doing it by size in the buckets and That's then they right. come back and get the next size and the next size and the next size oh my gosh <laughs> we just keep getting in the way here oh my gosh i didn't realize how labor intensive this was yes i don't know why i guess i thought it was done by machine i don't know why i thought that so in parts of the United States, sweet potatoes are harvested by machine. Okay. But here, because of the climate and the soil, they get um, the skin is very tender, mm -hmm. and uh, you can't harvest them. They get um, like scratched up. Oh, okay, okay. So I was telling you earlier when we pulled up last time we had sweet potatoes here, which was four or five years ago. Um, they were a lot prettier. It's been really dry here this year, mm -hmm. and so you've got all these. Round She's saying when the when it's drier they're rounder, yes. and then when it's wetter they're a little more they're like slender, yeah, they're, they're longer. And, and she would rather say she says these aren't pretty. I don't know they're pretty. They're pretty enough. They still taste good. They still taste good. That doesn't it doesn't affect the nutritional value. It doesn't affect that. Okay. I wonder about that sometimes when I'm like picking them out in the grocery store. Yeah, I guess it just takes a little longer to cook.
quick <laughs> one like that. All right, and so another thing, just kind of in case you didn't know, yeah. um, you know, potatoes have eyes. Right, Sweet potatoes right. have eyes too. Yeah. So whether it's big or small, it has the same number of eyes. Oh, really? So that's why when we use these for seed and make plants in our yeah. beds, uh, we use the small ones because they make more plants, like per area. Okay, that's interesting. No, I didn't know that. I'm learning so much. Look, he's going to catch up with us. I know. <laughs> Sweet potato harvest usually starts kind of the middle of September, middle, beginning to middle of September. And she said it'll go through mid-November. Mm -hmm. Early to mid-November. Wow. So. Yeah, like right now it's like there's this, there's tobacco finishing, peanuts, peanuts start cotton, cotton, picking corn, corn, and, and then, then there'll beans. be beans. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't wrap my head around We it. started harvesting so tobacco so. in July. So, right. I mean, we've had harvest season, you know, will be kind of never ending. Just until never ends till we like get Christmas. All the beans in. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, Christmas. you got them in at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Hopefully, they're in by Christmas and you get a few months. A two months? I don't know. What do you two start weeks. back? Two weeks? Two what weeks. do you start back with? Well, we'll be working in the shop. Doing well, yeah, I know. And, and, stuff, and stuff. then um, yeah. I'll start in my greenhouse in January. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. With strawberry? Um, and, that's with sweet potatoes. So, my potatoes. greenhouse okay. is, is sweet potatoes growing the plants, like the water okay. plants. Do you grow tobacco plants, too? We do. That starts in February. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. Oh, my gosh. Small ones for use for seed here. All right. These are seed. These are seed, seed potatoes. potatoes. All these are? All these are seeds. Yeah. Okay. Like, I would cook that one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I would too. It's like, you know, perfect size. Perfect size. It's just like perfect one person size. It's just like these could kind of go either way. They could yeah. Be the number one, so the seed. There's a heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and the seed, you know, if there's something that won't make a one, it's kind of weird shaped or whatever we'll just put it in here right plants no matter what seeds and misfits <laughs> i want to fit in well here <laughs> very cool did you um did y'all like make these school buses did y'all retrofit them this is a special custom edition because <laughs> this is pretty cool to have 15 or 20 of them. <laughs> they're so cool Yes, we run our own chop shop. Right yeah. Now. When the school bus garage runs the yeah. bus special, we'll um, you get some and yeah, we'll get some and cut them off. And I mean, they're so durable. And you know, the yeah. school systems do a good job keeping the maintenance up and stuff. Right. And, uh, they make really good field trips. That's perfect. That's awesome. Oh man. Have currently what 99 yeah. seasonals they uh, seasonal right. workers yeah not that many stay here all year but we get um, extra guys in at harvest time like when it's peak time mm -hmm. to harvest the sweet potatoes and uh, these guys actually come here on visa from Mexico they're what you call h2a workers mm -hmm. and um, we provide them with housing and um, I mean, there's a lot that goes into that whole process. It is. It <laughs> they're, is. they're looked after very well. That's right. Taken so, care of. There's a lot that goes into the certification process to be eligible to mm -hmm. um, for these guys to work for us. And mm -hmm. in return, um, you know, we have to provide the certified housing. And, you know, when they're in the field, we have to provide the um, water and the bathrooms. And then, you know, make it so they can get to the store and things when they need to. And if they need to go to... Um, see the doctor, whatever, give them a ride there. And, you know, we really try to treat, treat our guys like family. Um, well, I can tell just in the time <laughs> I've been here that it's that way. When right. they came up, when we were eating lunch, and, I mean, it just seems like everybody's a big family. Yeah, we are. We are here. And, um, you know, we try mm -hmm. to look after them. And I, their safety is really important to me. Um, safety right. on our farm is really big for me. Right. And so that's something I really preach to them. And they probably <laughs> get tired of hearing it, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah. You know, we want to make sure everybody goes home well. And right. Safe. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, we couldn't do the work we do without these guys, and we just, you know, thank them every chance we get. Right. Hold okay, on. we're going. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we're, we didn't know it was getting ready to move. All right, we're going to get ready to move okay. the other way. Okay, we're going the other way. <laughs> that 
one time in a sweet potato field on the back of a school bus. <laughs> All right, y'all. Next stop, cotton field. Cotton, cotton. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love cotton. I mean, it's just so cool to see cotton on a plant to me. I don't know why. I just think it is. <laughs> so cotton has, if you don't know this, show them. I can't. It's got little yeah. seeds in it. See there? See there. Yep. It's got cotton little seeds, seeds in it. to make oil and animal feed. Right. Cotton feed oil. Mm -hmm. Cotton. Um, cotton seed. I'm trying to think in feed. Meal. Yeah. Cotton seed meal. So when it goes through the cotton gin, it takes out yes, the seeds. It separates separates the, seeds. the seeds. And then you're left with the cotton that's used the for lint. all the other things. Yes, oh, it's lint. lint. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learning so much today. Okay. It's that part's called the lint. Yeah, the, the lint and the seed. So there's are actually not cotton balls that you're buying in the grocery store. They're lint, lint balls. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling them that. <laughs> Awesome. Sweet. And this is called a bowl. So this is a five B O L L. B -O -L -L. Five, five lot bowl. bowl. B O L L. It's a double whammy. Okay. Pretty. Yep. Take a little cotton um for. Cotton bouquet. Bowl, a bowl bouquet. Is that right? <laughs> bins upon bins upon bins upon bins upon bins. <laughs> and tobacco and more tobacco and more tobacco and more tobacco. <laughs> How long does it stay here before you sell it? About a week or so. Okay. Right. Yeah. Maybe two at the most if they don't have appointments. Right, okay. This is all potatoes, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Already drive everything. 
How long have you been driving? When did you start driving a tractor? Uh, six or seven. Six or seven. It's just like my boy. Well, what do you think about this tractor? It's a, it's a very nice truck. It's a very nice truck. Yeah. You just got it. You just got it for a couple days. Just for the weekend. I mean, it's it smells new. Do you have to wash it before you give it back? We'll probably wash it just to be nice. <laughs> just to be nice. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, yeah. I just don't know what to do about all this all day stairs. There's the fam. <laughs> he was just playing around with all the buttons and he found the camera. That's cool, you don't even have to turn around. I mean, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get out? <laughs> Okay, we're wrapping this day up and I said I couldn't do it without <laughs> without getting the other half of the farm the farm here. This is Brent. It says Sue and Brent. I've had a great time. I've learned so much today. Thank you for having me out. The gnats are bad. <laughs> Always. We're, we're, welcome we're, to San Diego. I'm welcome to Nat County. Yes. Nat, Nat, not Nash County, yeah, but Nat, Nat, Nat County. County. Nat, Nat I am so, I'm so remembering that. We have plenty of them. Anyway, you've got an awesome facil facility, an awesome operation here. Great kids. I just, like, I, have, I told Sue in the truck a minute ago that I have so much more appreciation for what they do. I mean, we farm too, but nothing on the scale and like what they have to, what you have to do just on a daily basis to keep things going. Keep all the, keep all the balls juggled. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I just can't. Organized chaos. Yeah, organized chaos. I just can't imagine. You're doing awesome things. Thank you for having us out. No, yeah. thank you for coming. Um, I, it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And I know a lot of people watching have learned a lot. So yeah, thank you I told Sue we'll have to come back um, for strawberry. Yes, come back please. Strawberry time. season. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry City. We got Strawberry really good City ice cream. and ice cream. Yeah. Yes. That's the best part of Strawberry City. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. <laughs> Thank you. And the boys are off.